Right, so can you tell me what's your name and what you're doing here? So my name's Benny Jones. Um, I'm a stall holder at Judy's Vintage. Um, I have a, my stall is called Daydream Nation. It was in Scents and Peppermints, so you may know that, but now it's Daydream Nation. We're going for a fresh start. We had a shop in Ulverston for a year in the Lake District, and now we've closed that, and we're just getting back to our roots, getting back on the streets, on the markets. Right, so, so this, this is how you started then, really? Yeah, well, we've been doing this, maybe started doing this five years ago, but it was a very different stall then. I think we've got it much more, like, neat and tidy now. Brilliant. So, yeah. So, what's going on today, then, here? So, you've got a bunch of independent traders all together in this nice big room, um, showing off the wares, the unique styles that they've got for everybody to hopefully buy and take a bit home of. Yeah. So what's your goals for today then? What are you hoping to, so, to get from it? Hopefully going to make a load of money and just feel really good about that and feel like uh, the business is, is uh, working and moving forward. Slow, small steps is what I'd like to see, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So where are you going to take it after today then? So let me think, after today, uh, I'm going to be in Kendall Market on Wednesday, if you're near there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Kendall Market and then Ulverston Market, and then on Saturday I'm going to be at Levenstone Market. All right. But as well, I'm going to be performing, because I'm also a musician. Oh. So I'll be doing like a loop solo set with a drum machine, uh, with a few Prince songs and a few of my own original songs under the name Bingo Harry. Oh, so I'll be there as Bingo Harry, and I'll be there as uh, Daydream Nation with Hannah who is my co-business yeah. lady. Brilliant. Anne's wife. So have you ever performed at a festival and also sold there as well? Um, yes, I have actually. Yeah, a few times. There's one favourite of mine called Celebration Days, and that's in the north of France. Uh, me and some friends went there the first time about six years ago. Um, we, we took a few things, a few clothes, and that the, the French people there really loved it, like really nice silk paisley shirts and like quite because they're quite into like psychedelic stuff and yeah. quite like 70s style so so every year now we go there with our stall and quite a big stall and i've performed there as well we get someone to watch the stall and go and play, so it's, yeah. it's quite a global thing then that you do yeah i'd say it's definitely european but i want it to be more european especially with like all these east european festivals that look really great don't they there's some that look really nice and i'd love to take the stall there form as well but I'm in the middle of like trying to concoct this this design in my mind for like a busking amp with a with a, a car battery and a power amp and like a 12 inch speaker yeah. so I can like go and play because I play a bit of banjo too and do some like banjo with the stall and like integrate it all together because yeah, yeah, yeah. no, it's quite it. difficult to get on festivals as a musician because I think there's so many musicians doing awesome things so if I can like get in there that way yeah. <laughs> So how many festivals have you done now then? Probably about five a year for the last three years, oh, yeah. Wow. So What's the biggest one you've done then? The biggest one is probably Festival, I would say. Oh, really? Yeah, do you know that one? On yeah, the yeah, other yeah. White? yeah, yeah. Yeah. So did it go down well there? Yeah, it was it, it it did go down well, but for me it's I do prefer smaller festivals really. Yeah. It was a bit too commercial to fear the going that way a bit. Yeah, and it's sort of festivals. away from the roots, isn't it? Really, of yeah. sort of retro yeah. and vintage. Whereas, clothing. if you go up to Scotland, you see like real proper alternative people just like necking a load of cider and <laughs> getting each other around the arm and like dancing around yeah, all night. Yeah. And whereas, it can get a bit aggro at some of the bigger ones. Oh, I get that. So, what about how do how do the English and British uh, react to your stall in comparison to? maybe the more sort of European countries? Well, I think there's a lot, you know, the vintage is much more well established over here, so people aren't as excited about it as they are in France, because it, it is kind of an emerging thing. Yeah. It's not in, like in Germany, it's really well established, like there's loads of vintage shops, you know, like in Berlin and stuff, it's massive, but I got the impression in France people were like, still getting the heads around it a little bit yeah and there isn't as much of it but what that means is some people get really excited by it as well which is great and it's good for us because it's like you're taking you're taking it all the way there we're taking it there in our camper van 
Yeah. And it's so all these clothes have travelled a long way and it's totally different to anything else people would see around there. And I do think you could take we could take it further if we can rely on the van and yeah. organise some things, but it is with the language barrier it's a shame because it makes it difficult to to bridge that gap, you know, to get yourself out to Spain and see yeah. what it was like there. I wouldn't have known. Yeah. Well, good luck for the future with Thank it anyway. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's been nice chatting with you. Yeah, good, mate.